Welcome to the Squared Circle Pit! With your host, Rob Paspani! This is Rob Paspani with a unique edition of Squared Circle Pit. I want to take you on a vlog journey of my trip to Los Angeles for WrestleMania Goes Hollywood. Now, just because WWE brings their biggest event, it doesn't mean they're the only game in town. WrestleMania weekend has become a South by Southwest festival-like event for pro wrestling, where most of the top leagues from all over the world descend onto the location of WrestleMania this year in Los Angeles to showcase their top talents and all different styles of wrestling. The first event I saw was called Blood Sport, which was a no ropes event. It featured my favorite wrestler, Kota Ibushi, having his first match back in over a year. It was the main reason I wanted to travel all the way to LA. I saw so much unique pro wrestling live during this weekend, including the Japanese promotion DDT, which featured an inflatable sex doll, Yoshihiko, as their Iron Man champion. Suplex, but gets oh. enough momentum. Double Yoshihiko, multiple rotations here. It oh. ship rain, oh. destroyer. A second, three destroyers. Yoshihiko regains the championship! Things definitely stopped being G-rated at this event with some silliness, but there was also plenty of great actual action, serious wrestling, especially in the main event with Yuki Uno and Konosuke Takeshita. Night one was capped off by the fine folks at Circle Six asking me to judge the Minaro Suzuki karaoke along with Murder Grandpa himself. Here's host Kevin Gill giving me a pretty sweet introduction. Let's talk about the judges. My buddy Rob is here from the Squared Circle Pit. You've read his stuff in Metal Injection a mastermind of wrestling and music culture here, very uniquely qualified to be a judge alongside Minoru Suzuki. I couldn't help but think, what the hell am I doing here? But we had a lot of fun and I was already feeling it the next morning, but had three more days to go. The next day, the fine folks at 2K Games invited me onto their WWE 2K stream to talk about some of my favorite parts of the game. I mostly talked up my addiction to the My GM mode before taking some time to walk around the WrestleMania Superstore. As a longtime fan, it was really fun to see some legendary outfits and displays of various iconography from the history of pro wrestling. Love seeing the title belts, the old Nitro set. And speaking of pro wrestling, I took in a bit more action I hopped in a car and jetted over to the Ring of Honor pay-per-view for my first taste of Vikingo, the most hyped superstar of the weekend. He and Commander blew my mind live. In fact, I ended up watching two Vikingo matches that night Japanese star Maki Ito was there, 
She was teaming with hardcore legend Nick Gage against a team that goes by the name of Bussy. WrestleMania was the next day, and by this point, fatigue is really setting in. It's when I realized I can't quite party like I used to, but I slammed some Red Bulls because I was hosting an after party for the night at the Circle Six Bar Room Blitz. Here's some clips of my interviews from that night. Now we have the Circle Six World Champion coming up onto the stage. Give it up for Zachary Wentz. Thank you for coming on the Squared Circle. Fitness. Now, when you're getting ready for a show, what kind of music are you listening to other than Creed? <laughs> like a variety of things. I mainly stick to like IC stars or like counterparts or honestly, sometimes I throw on story so far because I need a little pop punk beat, you know? But yeah, that shit, dude. And when you retain the Circle Six Championship tonight, what's the first song that you're going to hear? What's your, what's your victory song? Fuck. Oh, sweet victory from fucking SpongeBob, dog. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet victory, yeah. So, Cass, now a lot of blood has been spread all over Los Angeles. Some of it yours, some of it inflicted by you. What, what is your weapon of choice to create maximum blood leaking? If you know Cass, you know that I use Satan cock. It's a Big dildo with nails in it. But unfortunately, Greyhound Bus lost it. So I don't have Satan cock on me. So if anyone has any extra cocks tonight, we'll use them, all right? Please bring all your big oversized cocks to the front of the room for, for uh, Casanova. It's my final day, and thankfully it started a bit more PG at a synagogue. I've never seen wrestling at a synagogue before for the first ever all jewish pro wrestling event look at the titses on jake cartwheel the rabbi who threw the event made sure to put on his best blazer cole cabana was the star of the show and he and qt marshall had a really really fun main event kids really liked it after a quick bite it's time for the final night of wrestlemania at this point, I had consumed so many hours, I was almost starting to feel jaded. It's hard to really take in over 10 shows of pro wrestling. Make sure to check out my column on NotFest.com where I go over the 10 best matches that didn't happen at WrestleMania. And I will see you next year when WrestleMania goes to Philadelphia.